Mr. Manalastas, I understand you want to say something. Yeah, um, I would like to make a correction regarding the interest of the junket operator when he does what was said by Senator Osmeña that, um, oh, let's just play 20 percent and that's it, let's stop. Sir, it's against the interest of both operator and the casino to do that because why will you settle for the 20 percent when you can get the whole 100 percent as winnings? So it's contrary to the interest of the the capitalista or the uh, both uh, operator and the casino. Yes, but I'm I'm not saying whether it's contrary to the interest or not. I'm saying it can be done. There is some discretion. Sir, if he does that, um, how much is he uh, to gain as compared to let's let's win all this? instead of just a percentage. No, you're looking at it from the perspective of a real gambler. I'm looking at it from the perspective of a money launderer. <laughs> I'm saying that it's possible to do that. It's not in the interest, yes, if it were a legitimate guy coming in gambling, but if it was a money laundering operation, there is discretion. Oh, let's say I own the casino. There is discretion. That dead chip is a control factor for the junket operator, the junket agent. As a matter of fact, the junket uh, operator can tell the casino, you know, just let it go. I'll, I'll give you 20 percent. But there is discretion. So that stupidity that your general manager says that it's impossible, that's not correct. Uh, sir, from the interest those, of the Those dead chips are actually encashed again and the money is sent back. Kung ano na iwan. Theoretically, it should be zero. The, the casino would enjoy. Kung na iwan sa akin, zero. No? At the end of, after gambling six times. But so, some people do win, diba? So what are you going to do? Meron akong 1 million in chips. Eh, pagtalo ko every day, hindi naman sumosobra sa $200,000. You're not gonna confiscate that from me. It's still my money. I was lucky. I, I won. Diba? So there is discretion also there. Uh, discretion on the part of the player, sir. No, not on the part of the player. Discretion on the part of the junket operator, the junket agent. Pag sinabi nila, okay na yan. Di ba? I, I don't think that has happened. Not unless that, no, I'm not saying uh, if what it Solera happened or not. It's got to nothing to do whether it and, happened and or not. There is discretion. It can happen. There's always the possibility. Here. No, that it can happen. That's not always the possibility. The possibility is if I didn't want to really gamble it, if there were already plans, it is possible. It is probable. They do have discretion. That's just to protect the junket operators na gagastos ako, ako magpapadala sa kanila dito, matapos hindi pala magtataya ito. Kuning-kuning na may one million, pero unti-unti lang pag gamble niya. That's my control factor. Uy. But if for some reason the guy is lucky, then he's, he's left with a lot of dead chips at, at, at the end of the week. You cannot con confiscate that. He, he retained that in a legitimate manner. That's all, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the next hearing, uh, we will see the uh, the messenger of Phil Rem, Mr. Concon Bautista, and the accountant of Phil Rem uh, next Tuesday at 10.30 in the morning. Until then, these hearings are hereby suspended. Call the immigration people.
Nandito pa raw eh. The player. Nandito pa raw eh. Okay, I'll find it.